Hello, Roy Hart Learning Center family. I am back with some more crafts this week. Uh, sorry if I'm talking a little bit of weird. I got my wisdom teeth removed, so my mouth's a little sore. But I still want to show you some fun crafts that I thought of this week. And all you need are a couple things. Um, the two crafts that I'm going to be doing need to make sure that you are being safe because they involve scissors and um, cutting, so make sure your parent is with you or a guardian or your older brother or sister so we are being safe, respectful, and responsible, right? Making sure we're doing that at home too. So we're going to listen and pay attention and we should have a quiet voice and a calm body and eyes are on the screen. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome. Okay, so all you need is a cereal box. So this is just a regular cereal box that you can get from anywhere, of course. I don't know if you like cereal, but I do. So the first thing we're gonna make, I'm gonna make two different crafts with a cereal box. So the first video I'm gonna upload is the first craft, and the second video I'm gonna upload is the second craft, okay? The first craft is an easier craft that is still super fun. So first you need a cereal box, you need a Sharpie, I need a pair of scissors and make sure you have an adult with you, okay? Pause this video if you don't have an adult with you and I will wait. If you do have an adult, let's keep going. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our cereal box, okay? And it should be side to side or horizontally. So it should be side to side. You're going to lay it down like this, okay? And all you're going to do is you're going to take your Sharpie, and I hopefully you can see this, but you're going to take your Sharpie and you're going to draw a line that goes from one side to the other. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't have to be straight. You're going to draw a line that goes from one side to the other. Okay, I'll try to make it a little darker for you. This is the darkest Sharpie I have. You can use a marker, whatever will show up, okay? You're going to draw a line. Now, you're going to put that Sharpie away. Take your scissors, make sure an adult's with you. You're going to want to open the cereal box, of course, because you're not going to want to do it while there's cereal in it. There shouldn't be any cereal in there. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut all the way on the outside. See how I'm cutting in the back of the box, the outside and the back of the box, till you touch the line that you drew on the bottom. So I, my line's right here, it's hard to see. But that's where I stopped cutting. So I cut all the way down to that line. And you're going to do, do the same thing on the other side. All the way down, you get to that line. And stop. And you can put your scissors down for now. So you see, it looks like a flap. This bigger, see? It looks like a flap. So I didn't cut down all the way. I cut down where there's still at least a good chunk. So maybe about two inches here, okay? It looks like a flap. Here's the front, here's the back, here's a flap. Okay, so now that you did that, now you're gonna take your scissors again. And you're gonna cut on that line that you made, which was all the way down here, right? You're gonna cut across. Perfect. So now you should have a separate piece. You should have this cereal box right here, and then you have a separate piece. You're going to keep this and put this to the side for the second craft I'm doing. The first craft, all I'm going to be using is this piece of cardboard, okay? So we are going to be making a paper, well, cardboard airplane, okay? So all we need to do is kind of draw an airplane. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to kind of want to draw our airplane and then we're going to cut it and then you can paint it and do whatever you want. So the best shape of an airplane is like a paper airplane. So you're going to want to draw it by doing a straight line going across. Hopefully you can see. Straight line across. And then once you do that, then you're going to want to do kind of like a line down, like a diagonal going all the way down. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. I'll turn it over so you can see. 
that's what it should look like. Okay. So it's a line across and then a line, a diagonal line going down. Okay. Once you do that, you can cut it out. Make sure you have an adult with you. And cereal boxes are really easy to cut because they're thin. So it shouldn't be that hard to cut. So if you see the front of my airplane fell off because that was where the cereal box bends at the top, so that's okay. Okay. So now the next part, if you need to pause, you can pause. You see this is my airplane so far. Okay. So now the next part, we're going to take our marker. And we're going to draw a small line in the middle of the airplane, just a small little line, maybe a little, a little bit wider. Okay. Probably about the width of two dimes, or two pennies. Okay. Then, with an adult's help, you're going to bend it right where that line is. So you're going to take it, your plane, bend it in half, right where the line is, and you're going to take scissors and you're going to cut on that small line, just a very small cut. So see, there should be a little hole, just a small little cut, okay? So it should look like this, and there's a cut now. So all you have to do again is bend it and do a small little cut. So now, if you need to pause, make sure you pause any time if you need to stop and start over, okay? Or rewind, whatever you need to do. And the next part, we have to make the airplane wings. So you can make these as big as you want. We have all this cardboard to work with. So you can do any shape you want. You can do a silly shape. You could do just a regular airplane shape. I think I'm gonna do regular airplane wings. So, Maybe with a star at the end, but you have to remember you can only make them as big as this line is, as wide as this line. So they're not going to be very wide. So all you're going to do is, but you have to make sure it's long enough because it's going to have to go through the whole thing. It should go to each side because you know an airplane, the wings are on each side, not just one side. So you're going to you're going to have to shove it through so there's it's long enough. So I think I'm going to do a star. Okay, and then a long strip. And then a star at the other end. Now you can do anything you want. You can do any shape at the end. You don't have to do stars. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut it out. So you're gonna take your time, cut it out. Right, we're practicing scissor safety. We're not throwing our scissors. We should have an adult with us. We should have our hands on our scissors the right way. We shouldn't be throwing them, doing anything crazy, right? Because we need to be safe. I hope all my friends are being safe at home, making sure they're following their school rules, listening and doing the first time, right? If your parents or grandparents or Older siblings ask you to do something, you say, okay, right? Having safe hands and feet, not hurting anybody, not kicking or hitting, or spitting, right? It's all the same rules that we practice in school need to be practiced at home too. The same rules. I know my friends in Miss Haig's class practice them. It's very important. So it's kind of tough cutting this one out, but I hope everybody's having fun too playing outside. It's been so nice out. Okay, I'm almost done cutting. I did a little bit of a difficult design. So here is my wings. Now, here is my plane. All I have to do, see the colored side? You can use the colored side. It's a little more fun. So all I have to do now is where I did the opening, you just slide it through. Okay, 
So I'm going to take it. It might take a couple times. Might have to make the opening a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to open it, make the opening a little bit bigger. Okay. Just a little bit. Go back and do it again. Okay. And there, you can push it through. See how I'm pulling it through? Just like that. To make it too big though, it'll get wobbly. And there was my airplane. So now you can color it, you can paint on it, whatever you want to do. And you should be able to throw it. So let's see. Eh, that was kind of lame. <laughs> We'll try again. Go from farther away. Airplane. See? And then it lands flat. But it stands up straight. So here's my cool airplane. So maybe my these might be a little too long. But it's fine. You can make any airplane you want. So maybe next time we just make these a little wider. But it's still the same thing. And you can color it or paint it. And you have an airplane that you can throw around wherever. Okay. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to paint it because if I paint it, it'll take a long time, but you can do any designs with markers. So what I'll do with mine and what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to decorate it before you put the wings on. But for mine, I'll just make mine look like a regular airplane with a pilot in the inside, steering the plane. And let's see, we'll do some windows for passengers, just like that. See? But I think it'd be cooler if you painted it. But if I paint it right now, it won't dry in time and I'll have to wait. But you can paint it and make it look pretty. So it's one side, it's the cereal box, and the other side, it's just cardboard. So here is your paper airplane. And if you have thicker cardboard, you can do it with thicker cardboard. But I figured I would just do a cereal box. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and like my video. Uh, the next craft will be involving the rest of the cereal box. So the rest of the cereal box will be my next craft. So for the next craft, I hope you watch it and I hope you're being safe, respectful and responsible. And I miss you all and you're doing an awesome job. I hope you're having fun at home and being safe and listening to mom and dad or your grandparents and have a great, safe day. I will talk to you next time. Bye.